Uh, Tom, first off, just uh, what are your impressions of, of the uh, IHSTCA convention and uh, your thoughts on presenting today? Well, I think I think you've got a dedicated group of high school coaches here who really want to want to become better coaches and also want to help their players get better and achieve their goals. Uh, it's always fun to interact with the high school coaches because they're dealing with the next generation of American players and. Uh, you know, they, they've got a big responsibility to help uh, guide these kids not only on the court but uh, off the court as well. And, and one of my big focuses in coaching has always been coaching character as well as tennis. And I think all, um, all the high school coaches do that on a daily basis as well. What about player development? You've been involved with that for a long time now. What's what's one of your favorite things about player development? Well, I think we, we get a chance to, to work with a lot of dedicated young players, and they have high goals, and uh, it's a global competition these days. You know, ever since uh, tennis came into the Olympics in the 80s, uh, every government around the world uh, uses government funds to sponsor tennis, i.e. China and Russia and in some countries like that that have produced a lot of uh, good tennis players and some Grand Slam champions. So it's a competitive uh, global game now and, and we've got to try to stay ahead of the curve and help develop the next group of American champions. What do you think some of the big keys are for, for making that happen in the United States? Well, I think number one, finding uh, the good athletes and trying to get the better athletes into tennis. And then uh, realizing that it's a it's a marathon not a sprint i mean development is a long journey it's not a destination you're probably never going to be as good as you want to be so you know uh, development takes time it takes patience it takes perseverance uh, you're not always going to go up in a in a straight line curve there's going to be some bumps in the road or even some detours so it, it takes a lot of character and a lot of a lot of uh, a lot of persistence and a lot of patience really to develop uh, champions. What about some personal highlights for you first as, as a player, a couple of things that really stand out in your in your memory um, from your playing days? Well, I think Tim and I lost in the finals of Wimbledon in 1983 and we were in the Royal Box at Wimbledon getting our runner-up medals from the Duke and Duchess of Kent and Tim kind of smiled and looked over at me and he goes, you know, we've done all right for a couple of small town boys from Wisconsin. And that's really uh, my best memory of, of tennis uh, with my brother. Um, on the coaching front, you know, coaching the Davis Cup championship team in Russia in 1995, you know, at Sanford, some Courier, Todd Martin, Agassi, you know, Malibu, Washington. We had a great team and won the championship that year. And then in 96, great honor to be the Olympic coach in Atlanta and I helped Agassi win the gold medal that year so that was certainly a career highlight for me coaching once. 